A number of people have influenced John's career throughout the years. One of those was a broadcaster many of us grew up listening to, Clark McKay. Much he's, he's in good. He's in good shape. He's moaning already. What is, what is your name again? I forgot. John Simmons. I said you're in good shape. You're moaning already. So I nice never moaned in my what life. A wonderful surprise. Johnny, nice to see you. And Lovely uh, to see you. It's a great honor for me to be on the same show, too. Oh, that's wonderful. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm a little out of breath. Okay. I'm looking downstairs. <laughs> you were so, led down so the stairs by Miss South Africa. Miss South Africa. Oh. I tell you, walking close to her at my age is too much. <laughs> <laughs> feel that. Feel that. No, I said feel it. Don't <laughs> Hey, it's nice to be with you. Wonderful to see you again. An early what morning a nice announcer. surprise. Yeah, I, I was just Stanley. Good. He's great. He's we, too good looking, that's his problem. We were too. Him? Yeah, I got, yeah, I got a great, great face for radio. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I like that. Yeah. We were talking backstage. I mean, today it's no secret that the morning man on radio is the one who earns the, the biggest money. And in Clark's day, he was the biggest earner. Smart yeah. guys, they receive their revenue, maybe watching. <laughs> Yes. Everybody loves David that. Davies. He paid me nine thousand bucks a year. Big deal. High pay. You know. Yeah. What do you do? Was that the princely sum of nine thousand bucks? Well, forget. I can't remember. You know. I used to earn money on the stock market. John, used, days, John used to make that in a week. That was. Uh, <laughs> you see. That was yesterday. Clark, I've always believed. I've always believed that that John's motivation was to win the love and respect of his fellow broadcasters, and to make enough money so we wouldn't have to associate <laughs> with him. <laughs> Got a point there, baby. You got a point. Hey, you're looking very well on my 32. Thank you. Stan nice. looks very well. He's very fit, too. He's been on a fun run, I believe. Stan is looking well. Yeah. You do any running? No. No, I don't do any. I, I'm doing a lot of sleeping now. A lot of sleeping. Lot of sleeping. I, can I can relate to that. A lot, a lot of sleeping. And this new cream. You remember years gone by, huh? I told you about that instant suntan lotion? Yeah, 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 I remember. I got a new cream now. You have a new one? Really? Chris Barnard, eat your heart out. This is a new one. Oh. <laughs> it's a new one. Yeah, I use polyfiller myself. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know something? He's taken over from you. Yes. And you took over I from know. me. I know. I know what you're going to say. What? The way we're sitting now. Yeah. Da-dum, da-dum, da-dum. Three, yeah, two, three. Yeah, and if I know yeah. you're going to... Five million bucks, you would never have got the bloody job. <laughs> That's right, folks. We actually look at three generations of morning men on 702 in the short space of years. Uh, just uh, Clark made way for John. John made way for me. Sadly, many of the people, some of the people who played a part in John's life, have gone on to that great big radio station in the sky. People who touch our lives come and go. For Berksy, eat in the stands for the World Cup.